Good morning, Bulldogs. I want to thank you for a great first day. I'm going to share my screen here real quick. And would you please stand? Today is a B day. Can you please stand for a morning ceremony? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And once again, I want to thank you guys for an awesome first day. It was really cool having uh, so many of you back in the building. It was even cool going into classrooms and talking to your classes and seeing uh, some of our digital students uh, synchronously uh, joining the class and joining my meeting with them. And, you know, that's going to get better every day. I know there's still some frustration uh, with our Google Classrooms and our digital learners. Um, that's getting a little bit better every day, and it's going to continue. Um, that's a new reality for all of us. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get the high school back um, with everyone who 80% of us are back here in the building. No other school in the area is doing that. And I tell you, it went really well the first day. And it's a, a tribute to um, not just the staff, but all, all you students that were here uh, to make it go smoothly. And the digital world at home, um, that's going to get better every day. And we're going to knock that out of the park, too. It's going to just take a little bit more tweaking. And we know we're not there yet. Um, but like I said, be, be patient, be flexible, and we'll get there. Couple things I want to go over. Uh, first of all, study hall, first and fifth. Uh, senior release, I gave that out today and I got a number of those back today and I'll start processing through that. Um, but if you're in grades six through 11, if you have study hall first or fifth block or fifth period, um, you can come in late if you have study hall first period or leave early if you have it fifth um, with parent permission. That can be a parent note or it could be a parent email. So if you want to, uh, uh, come in a little late if you have study hall first block or you have study hall fifth block you want to leave a little early. Uh, Mrs. Pagano, if you uh, email her here in the main office or give the main office a call, uh, we can get that squared away. So you bring a note in, you can come in late or leave early. Hallway traffic went pretty well. Uh, just a reminder that, uh, yeah, when you walk in the building, either from the middle school, from the buses, or come in from parent pickup, both doors are going to be open in the morning for you to come in. Both doors will be open, the auditorium and the front main doors for you to go out to parent pickup in the afternoon. Parent pickup went really well, definitely better than the construction last year. Things closed pretty quickly. Uh, the one-way hallways are mainly the parallel ones that go north and south, but coming in, it's one way and coming back, kind of funneling down the middle there. We got, got a pretty good uh, idea of it the first day. Just remember there's some cut-throughs, so if you're coming down from uh, the middle school or the science wing and you got to get all the way to art, yeah, you have to take a right when you don't want to, but you can cut through the courtyard and get right here. So it's really only a few steps out of the way to get to where you were going to go. Um, same thing when you're coming up the main hall. Yeah, you'd like to go to science. You'd like to keep going. Take a right. Just cut through the library. It's only a few steps out of your way to keep going that way. So that was probably the biggest hiccup that people had. Figure that out. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the morning. Doors open on the hillside by the main loop. At 7.10, you got to go to the cafe if you're getting dropped off or driving. And then at 7.18, we release you to class. Buses start unloading at 7.20. But don't forget, breakfast is available. I think we've uh, had a lot of breakfasts made today and, um, and yesterday. Not a whole lot were picked up. Um, so make sure that you grab breakfast in the morning if you need breakfast. Just go through the grab and go, grab it. Whether you got off the bus or came in, getting dropped off for a parent, and then head to your first block class. Keep wearing your mask, keep social distancing. If you don't feel well, make sure you stay home and make sure you do your daily check-in. We don't have the app up running yet, but there's a Google form for your parents to fill out. Make sure you're checking in. And then seminar, a little confusion with seminar yesterday. Uh, once again, what's on your schedule isn't quite correct because the schedule's built for what it would look like um, if we weren't in COVID times and not having the pandemic and you were actually going to an A lunch or B lunch. There are no A lunches or B lunches or C lunches or D lunches. There's just third period and you go to your seminar no matter what day it is. Um, so everyone except for seniors in the high school go to your seminar and you stay there the whole time. And I think today, yesterday went pretty well. Today I'll go a little better. Uh, we'll call you by grade to go through the grab and go. Um, just make sure you order your meal in the morning. It should be on your desktop. If your teacher can, in your first period can show you where it is. Uh, we wore short meals at the end of the day and kids had to wait for new ones to be made. Uh, it was a little hiccup the first day. Make sure you, you order your meal in the morning so they know exactly how many they have to make. 
Um, but we'll call you by grade. So everyone goes to the seminar room. Ninth graders, you're up in the English hall. Sophomores, you're down here in the math hall. Juniors, you're in the main hall. And that's some of the pathways. We'll call you by grade. Seniors are going to go right away, get out of the way. <clears throat> they're in the cafeteria, um, and they're going to get that done. <clears throat> Same thing with middle school. <clears throat> Excuse me. Middle school seminar, you go straight there. Uh, the only exception is if you have band or chorus right away at 10, 15 on your schedule, and you need to go to band and chorus right away. Our music teachers are going to help with that. Today, if you have 7th and 8th grade chorus with Mrs. Whittle, if your name is between Amon and McKeel, your last name is anywhere between Amon and McKeel for 7th and 8th grade chorus with Mrs. Whittle today, during third period, instead of going to seminar, you're going to go straight to chorus. And you're going to have chorus first. Everyone else is going to go to the, the gym. You guys are in the middle school gym for your seminar. If you're Amon and McKeel, you're going to go straight to chorus third period. And then when chorus is over, you'll grab your, your lunch and you'll go back to uh, the middle school gym to eat. Everyone else is going to be in the middle school gym if you're music. All right. Uh, once again, music teachers are going to help with that because it's a little screwy on your schedule. Because once again, the schedule is off the software built for post-COVID. Uh, so the music teachers are going to help you out. Uh, but if you go to your seminar and you're confused, they'll help you out. They're going to have a list of who needs to be where. And you'll figure that out because it's the same schedule every other day. So for today, 7th grade chorus. You're not going to go to the middle school gym if your name is between Amen and McKeel. You're going to go to break the course and then get lunch after and go back to the middle school gym. Once again, great day. And don't forget that people forget what you said. They'll forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Have a good day, Bulldogs. And uh, I'm really proud of what you guys did day one. I know day two is going to be just as good. Have a great day.